pop and, you know, make it what it is on streaming today. So from that perspective, I think we're well positioned, you know, with my history at Apple, our ability to plug into physical in the way that we can now, like no other company, um, just seeing exactly the pie chart of, of, of streaming in the United States, streaming globally. Um, it's an exciting time. Really, it is, I must say, you know. It's exciting, but streaming got to get, get their shit together. Because I don't understand how the fuck you get paid off of that shit. <laughs> like, I mean, can somebody explain to me how you can get a billion streams and not get a million dollars? Like, that shit don't make sense to me. Like, I don't know who the fuck running the streaming industry, if you in here or not. <laughs> but nigga, you need to give us some information on how the fuck to track this money down. Because one plus one ain't adding up to two. That shit don't add up, and I have to say it. Because that's the main gripe with a lot of us artists is that we do major numbers with streams and this shit, but it don't add up to the money. Like, what the fuck is the money? When I first came out, my records would sell based off of physical. If you sold a million copies, that means if $9.99, $9 million, you get this percentage, that's what it is. So if I sell how many streams, how much money do I get? It's not being translated and, and it's not working for the artist right now. And I just want to speak to that in yeah, the no, music industry. Talk. Like, that's fucked up. And we need to find a way to figure that out the same way the writers are figuring out. The writers are striking because streaming, they can't get paid. Because when it's on the platform, it's not like in the box office. In the box office, if it does all these numbers, you may get it up. Oh, it did this many, here's another check. But on streaming, you got 300,000 hours that somebody watched your movie, where's the money? And I know I'm going off a script right now, but fuck it. This is business. Yeah. This is business. You know what I'm saying? This is a room full of business people, and somebody may hear this and be able to do something about it so that way the next artist don't have to struggle or cry or try to figure out how to get to his money. Because some of these artists are streaming millions and millions and millions and millions of fucking streams, and they don't got no millions of dollars in their pocket. So I just yeah. wanted to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Talk that talk. <laughs> Well, another thing these writers are, are striking about is AI mm. and the use of AI uh, by the studios to write scripts, let's mm. say. Yeah. And you mentioned Drake and The Weeknd. Mm -hmm. We recently saw, you know, an AI version of a collaboration between those two. Of course, Snoop, dying to know your thoughts on this. <laughs> Um, well, I got a motherfucking AI right now that they done made for me. This nigga can talk to me. I'm like, <laughs> like, man, this nigga can hold a real conversation. <laughs> like, for real, for real, like, it's, it's blowing my mind because I watched movies on this as a kid years ago when I used to see this <laughs> shit, and I'm like, what is going on? Then I heard the dude that, the old dude that created AI is talking about, this is not safe because the AI's got their own minds <laughs> and these motherfuckers gonna start doing their own shit. I'm like, is we in a fucking movie right now or what? <laughs> the fuck, man? So uh, do I need to invest in the AI so I can have one with me? Or, like, do y'all know? Shit, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm lost, I don't know. <laughs> Larry, can you explain? I mean... <laughs> it's not all bad, yeah. right? I'm laughing, I'm laughing at him. 